Hello guys, welcome back to the channel once again today. I'm super uber mega excited to be sharing this video with you guys because today I am gonna be sharing a list of 10 amazing, yes, amazing medical lesbian dramas that I would highly recommend you all to go ahead, go watch and support. I feel like this series they should have, have gotten more spotlight that they actually got, especially in the lesbian couples in it. But before we get into further details and actually, you know, talk about the series, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and also let me know your personal opinion down below in the comments as well because like i always say your opinion does matter so we're gonna start off with called the midwife a period drama series about a group of nurse midwives working in the east end of london in the late 1950s and early 1960s the series is from the uk and it currently is still airlining actually this means it's actually still you know uh, being streamed and got released in 2021 there are five queer characters including the leah and past team who are lesbians and the series is actually good it got good feedback from the viewers and a lot of people said that their storyline are super super underrated if you guys have checked it out let me know if you agree with that opinion or not or do you have your own personal point of view on it then we're gonna move forward to nurses five young nurses work on the fourth line of a busy down on hospital dedicating their lives to helping others while struggling to help themselves it's a canadian series and got two seasons available released in 2020 the series got a couple of queer characters including ashley and candy that we as viewers really had high expectations for but ashley also had a situation going on with caro in season one so yes this series is pretty pretty cute in this case I feel like we really wanted to see what will happen between Ashley and Candy because when things started to heat up between them, it, it came actually at the end of the season. So there was kind of a downfall, but hopefully in the future we can get another season of this series because I feel like there's still a lot of unfinished, you know, emotions between Ashley and Candy. Then we have Rose Hood. It's about a private pathologic who works with law enforcement in Miami. Pippi and Tima A are engaged when the show starts. As time goes on, Tima A feels like she basically latched onto Pippi after coming out as bi. And she didn't really know herself anymore, so they broke up. The show got released on Fox in 2015 to 2017, and it got mixed feedbacks, especially when it comes to their relationship. And to be honest, it ain't bad at all. I feel like the storyline is fair, but I'm really, really upset at TMI for breaking up with, in this case, with PP because of that situation. Then we have Saving Hope. In season 3, Maggie and Sydney start stumbling forward something relationship-ish. That energy continues into season 4 and season 5. Stumbling turns into other roller coaster of a while when they just go through a lot. The situation worth ending was actually worth watching because the couple does have a happy ending. It looked like there was a point where they wasn't going to be together just because of everything that was going on with their own personal beliefs when it comes to other situations and cultures and religion as well. But as things progress, you can finally see that they could find a common ground and basically just give their love story finally, finally a try. And the reason why I want you all to go ahead and go watch this because the series has five seasons available and there's storyline is 100% worth the watch. Then we have to move forward to this classic one, New Amsterdam. In season 3, Lauren kisses her new roommate, Layla, and realizes she's queer. However, their relationship ends when Lauren uses her family money to buy Layla's internship at the hospital. After that, Lauren never dates anyone else. Yes, while Layla moved into an apartment that Lauren gave her so that she can stay and be registered in order to get her paperwork. And she actually had a girl there, basically her new girlfriend, which was a very very messy scene if you ask me the series got five seasons available and the series is for me a 10 out of a 10 i still have a lot of mixed reviews when it comes to lauren and Layla's relationship because i feel like you know this couple didn't get the outcome that we all thought that they genuinely deserved and then we're gonna move forward to push it's a canadian television and got amazing rating it actually got a 6 out of a 10 rating it's a medical drama it's pursuing anatomy bags babies in a pelvic position, premature contractions of midwives Nala, Anna, and Greta, and a in a state of emergency. 
is the order of the day. Greta and Dr. Charlotte embark on an unexpected situation and they have to figure out how to maintain their romance, you know, away and also, you know, still keep things professional between them because they have to work together. To be honest, I haven't watched the series yet, but I'm still looking forward to watching it. I'm kind of having difficulties in finding the platform on where to watch it from. But as soon as I do, hopefully I will do a review on it because I'm really, really excited. Then we have Woman at WAR. Friends 1914, the destinies of four women interact. Margaret, a mysterious Parisian exotic worker. Caroline, propelled to be the head of the family factory. Agnes, mother superior of a requested convent. And Susanna, a feminist nurse. The series is available on Netflix and got a 7 out of a 10 rating. Margaret and Caroline used to be ex-lovers and reconnected in a very, very unexpected way. But they have decided to do what is best for both of them and basically just help out everybody in the city when it comes to the WAR and basically in this case Carlos she was the one providing the ambulances and in this case Margaret was the one that was actually you know driving the ambulances to provide medical care but the whole storyline is also another situation then we gotta move forward to Grey's Anatomy. The series need no introduction. It been around for years and years and there is a lot of LGBTQ plus representation but in my personal opinion I feel like Mika and Hallam's storyline is basically one of the most underrated storylines on the show because I feel like they are new and a lot of people, I don't know why a lot of people don't like their relationship, but me personally, I do feel like it's a very, very interesting story. So if you guys want to know more about them, I will highly recommend you all to go watch Grey's Anatomy because their storyline needs to get more spotlight. It's super cute. Then we have from Christy and Maril has a complicated relationship as they used to be exes and they reconnected in a very unusual way. One of them has an addiction and the other one is actually a paramedic. The series got a 7 out of a 10 rating and it's available to watch on Prime Video and HBO Max. The series got two seasons available and it's from the US. Hopefully season 3 will be released soon because I feel like there is a lot to be said still when it comes to their relationship because I feel like the story is still far far from over especially when it comes to the romance between these two ladies. Then we have Shortland Street, Samira and Francesca storyline on the show came and went but it was good while it lasted. I honestly hope the storyline would work out, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. I feel like they both fell in love with one another, but they also realized that they were at very, very different stages of their lives and wanting different things as well. But I still feel like their romance, when it was aired on the show, on the telenovela, it was 100% worth it. And I feel like now the series also and always had amazing LGBTQ plus queer representation in it. And now there are basically two lesbian couples on it that I will highly recommend recommend you also go ahead and go follow because let me tell you it don't disappoint at all so yes guys that's basically it please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and i also want to say that i've activated the super stickers to the channel just in case any of you would like to make a small donation it will help us out a lot i really hope you all have enjoyed this list this video this series and please drop down below in the comments if i have missed any you know so that we can do a part two i really hope you all have enjoyed this video until the next video and goodbye